make it, make it, make it move. All right, man, it's your boy Frank Nino. It's your boy it's Frank, your boy, Nino. Frank, Frank Nino. Nino. You know I'm here. Mr. Bars on deck. This is Making Moves TV. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm out here in the 413, my hometown, my home city, with my homegirl, Cheyenne, a.k.a. Shy fucking Rack. Gonna find a bitch to battle, but he a bitch is the same. You'll get shot. Oh You'll get shot after the battle. Like 15 minutes of fame. Y'all know what happens to a bitch with no eyebrows, right? Them bitches get drawn on. Yeah. While, while you was coming out of the closet, trying to bag a girl, I was taking work off the closet. Trying to bag the girl, I never oh. needed it. Been out here killing the battle scene, doing her thing. You gotta respect it. So you know your boy Nino gotta pull up on her. You know what I mean? One of the first dudes to do. I don't know if I'm, am I the first or am I one of the first? I don't know. You are the first. I am the motherfucking numero uno, bitch. You know what's going on? <laughs> Number one. You know, I got that talent from far and early. She definitely got it. You know what I'm saying? If you don't believe me, go check the footage. We don't talk shit, we show shit. That's 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 all the time, you know what I'm saying? She's been doing her thing. You know I mean, I came across her, I was like, my God, I didn't even know. And I've been newer, and I didn't even know she was going crazy on niggas like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I did. I didn't. I didn't even motherfucking know. I'm like, what? Is this the same? Is this who? Is this? Nah. Okay. With, with the Adobe and change your face up and all that. Like, is this her? Is this really her? You know what I'm saying? But uh, it is her though. It's her. Cheyenne definitely doing her thing. You know, I gotta give her flowers right now. You know what I'm saying? Before shit get crazy. She's already going crazy, but before it gets to that next shit level, crazy. you know what I'm saying? You gotta show her, her flowers now. Your boy, you know how to come show that love ASAP. It. You know what I'm saying? It's only right. It's only right. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, Miss Chirac? Okay. You know what I'm saying? What, 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 what we doing? What we talking about here, man? What we, what we doing? We gonna, let's bring it back to the beginning of the days before you even started battling your love for hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I need to know the origin, where it all began from. You know what I'm saying? What sparked this energy? Like, where'd you get your cadence from with these bars? Like, this shit is just, is it God-given talent? Is this something that you learned? Like, what what's going on? Like, That's crazy. That's a good-ass question. Um, well, first of all, um, it started from a childhood thing. Um, me and all my brothers, we, we always been hip hop heads since we was little kids. We always been rapping, you know, mm -hmm. little ass kids. If you know, you know, like, we used to have family members come up to us and ask us to rap at fucking cookouts and every family function, they would have us rap and shit. So it's been okay. since we was kids. So let's, let's bring it back. So <laughs> how many siblings do you have? I'm sorry? Siblings. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Um, I got all together is five of us. Mm -hmm. Um, I got three brothers and I have a sister. Um, I'm the oldest. You're the oldest out of all the, out of all the siblings. Oh, you're the oldest. Period. I'm the oldest. Period. Oh, okay, okay. Um, same mother, same father. Mm -hmm. So it's all it's five of us. I'm the oldest and okay. Yeah. So um, me and my brothers, my two brothers in particular, I'm the closest with with them two because we're the closest in age. Mm -hmm. So. My brother right there, um, my other brother Liam, mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we've been at, like inseparable since we was kids and we always rap since we was kids. They kind of took the rap shit to a different level. Like they, they, they really started rapping like studio wise and shit. Oh, before you did? <clears throat> before I did. They hopped off the porch with this shit long ago when we was like young. And um, so when they hopped off the porch with this shit, them niggas, when we got like in our teens, like early teens, 14, 15, mm -hmm. them niggas, they was rapping like they was 25 already. So shit like that started happening. Um, so once they got crazy with their shit, I kind of fell back, you know, me being a female. Yeah. I kind of didn't really like put rap um, in the forefront of my life. Yeah, you know what I'm so saying. So this is so we still talking. We're still in your teen years right now. Still in my teen years. Okay. Um, is that you? Um, mm -hmm. still in my teen years. Mm -hmm. Um, so like early teens, I basically um, 
you know, I ended up having my son, you know, at a young age. So that was another thing that I had to put first before okay, rap. Okay, no doubt. Real shit, real shit. You know what I'm saying? That was my next question. Do you have any? All that, you know, uh, yes, my son. I have one son. Okay. You know, he raps his little ass off too. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> um, But, um, yeah, so... In my teen years, I kind of didn't put rap first. Mm. I let my brothers do their thing. Them niggas was fire. I would come to the studio. I would be fire. They would be like, yo, you fire. Like, spit some shit. Like, I would kind of play around with it or whatever. You know, I didn't mm -hmm. really put it, you know, in the forefront of my life. So, um, I kind of just still played around with it. I would come to the studio here and there. I would drop shit. But it was something about the studio that I wasn't really feeling like that. Like... I didn't really like how I sounded in the studio. You didn't like your voice? Like, what? I didn't like my voice. I didn't like, um, I hate hearing my voice to this day. Like, if I record myself and listen, I don't, mm -hmm. I hate hearing my voice anyways. But, um, it was something about the studio. I don't know if it was the studios were garbage out here and not trying to, you know, come at my city or nothing. But the ones I came across, it, it just wasn't clicking for me your voice wasn't sound like that smooth wasn't sound like you yeah like you got a different perception like, like as you when you rap in your room or you rap into yourself uh, you Millie, sound I'm you sound different people. but yeah. when you go to the studio and they put it out in the exactly. speaker it just like it wasn't I it wasn't connecting with you it. a million people could tell me i'm fire if i don't like it it's just not gonna sit right with me so mm. you feel me so you know because they would like it when i would go to the studio but i would just be like ah and um you know, people would tell me, like, you know, I rap, you know, two street, shit like that. I'm a female and shit, so it was... Yeah, you can't... That's another you know? thing out here. We can't... You can't dictate what people do out here, like... Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you... First of all, when you get into this game, you feel me? It's different for everybody. Different strokes of different folks, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But my advice is definitely to stick to what's true to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if this is what you spit that gutter shit and you spit that shit like that, mm -hmm. and you're a female... And it doesn't fit your image or what I don't whatever the fuck niggas is talking about. You right. know what I'm saying? Fuck what they talking about. You got to spit what's true to your heart. Exactly. Because this is what the, the 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 fans or whatever whoever clicks to your music is gonna respect. They're gonna feel like that. they're gonna identify like oh nah she's spitting from the bottom like she this this is who she is. You exactly. feel me? You're not trying to do no glamour glitz get all do all that type right. of shit shit for the radio or whatever whatever it is. You're just doing you're just following. What's it's what what yeah you know what I'm a stick yeah what you are and what you, and there's nothing wrong with that you know you what I'm saying I mean? you're so taking you're taking the stairs mean? instead of the elevator right so people want to take that elevator mm -hmm. they want to do a song they want to copy something they see on TV on right. MTV BT like I gotta right. do it like this because right. they're doing like that they're not really spitting but they just you know following I'm cadences not even gonna hold you I've even tried to um I did like I tried to do a song that was you know like a female type of bop type of song so what do you so what's your definition of a female bop type of song what do you mean like, um, I would say, um, let's see, like, you know, females, like, you know, the city girls are like mm -hmm. Megan, you know, one of mm -hmm. those kind of songs that are like, you know, vulgar material, yeah. you know, shit like that for the females. You know, I tried that and I still wasn't feeling it. I'm like, it's just not me. Well, I'm not, listen, so what I'm saying is I'm not against none of that because you can probably relate to some of them, you feel me, as yeah, far as what they're yeah, talking about, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, you definitely, definitely could, but... but you're a real it's what I want. What to you do? Because you're a real lyricist, so right. you want people to really That's hear. What I want to produce. You 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 really put thought into your pen. This right. ain't no just talking about. I needed my nigga to buy me a Birkin bag, exactly. nigga. All this extra shit. I look good. My hair long. Do my nails, nigga. You ain't getting yeah. no pussy. All that. Nah, we're not. Listen. We're not. She's we're talking not. some real. My real shit. That's really my life. You know. Yeah. Like a lot of females, even with battle rap, you know people. Just say shit, and you know if you know me, you know that the shit I'm saying is just it's really it's your life. Easy when you yeah. just talk about your it's, life. It was really what's really going on. Yeah. So did you um did you grow up in a two parent household, one parent like what was? Um, I grew up. Yeah, my well, my two, my mom and dad, they were together for a while. Yep. Um, growing up, and like I said, it was you know five of us, so you yep. know we definitely struggled growing up. Like it was a lot. It was a lot going on. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, I'm a 90s baby. So, that whole era was just a hard time period for, you know, everybody. It was a different time frame. Um, mm. So, yeah, like, our dad, you know, rest in peace to him. He, okay, I'll hear he that. rapped. 
He rapped. You know what I'm saying? He would go to the studio. He would rap. No word. Okay. We loved word. it. We wanted to. So be is that is that what inspired you to do what you do today? Like you, as that. growing up, like when when did you recognize? So how old were you when you recognized your dad going to the studio rapping and all that? Like how old were you when it was? Um, like? I say about let's see, because you know our dad did a lot of jail time. So when he got out, I say I, we probably. I was about eight or nine ish. Um, you know, he got out. He would go to the studio all the time. Come back. We would hear the song. We loved that shit. We wanted to be just like him. All the so that so that he could, did. so could could we is it is it is it cool to say that he sparked your interest in being a he MC? Sparked, yes, absolutely. He sparked my interest in being an MC. He sparked our interest in just all the hood shit. Period. I'm not even gonna hold you. He was a good father, but. You know, he wasn't always doing the right thing, but he still always had his kids with him. So we was right there witnessing everything that he did. And we oh, were so you trying to say like he had you in the middle of the action going like absolutely had us in the action. Like the damn. OK, absolutely. you know, we on camera. He so we want to be talking about the action. What actually the action is. Yeah, he would but y'all get a pretty good idea what the motherfucking action was. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And he's he saying that the father. So this really inspired you, sparked your pen up like, yo, this is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. See him go to, so basically, we still, hold on, let me, let me, let me get all this straight. So basically, he's going to the studio, he's rapping, doing his thing. Mm -hmm. He got you with him sometimes in the action. Us with him. Oh, got, got us. Yeah, y'all, I'm, I'm sorry. All of y'all. He got, you know what I'm saying, the older ones. At that time, at that time, just us three. Yeah. Yeah. He got y'all, like. Driving around, doing whatever, and and, and, and and shit's going down. Shit's going down. And then you see him go to the studio after. We seen it all, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then spit yeah. some shit like, okay, this is niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. my father's really about that action. Really about that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn. So that that's definitely a dope inspiration right there. Like, you like you feel me? Definitely. Like, you really seeing this. So, now, now I'm trying to, now I'm connecting yeah, when I watch it. these Chirac battles mm -hmm. where her, her fucking passion when she's rapping, her cadence come from like, Right. She really had. She was really there. Right. You feel me? Absolutely. Like he was really there. You was you was using the trenches. Like shit was. <laughs> and you seeing this and this really fucking inspired you. You was like you yeah. feel me? I that's mean, big. That's that's crazy. Lie. You know we love that shit. We loved mm -hmm. it. We love rap. Um, you know I'm a huge Jay Z fan. Everybody knows that. Like mm -hmm. really Jay Z fanatic. So oh yeah, that was my one of my next questions too. Like what um you know hip hop artists inspired you. To be this a phenomenal MC. Jay Z, mm -hmm. all the way. If you know, you know. Like I'm a Jay Z fanatic. Mm -hmm. Um, when I was like 11 years old, I remember the Blueprint Two had just came out. About the Blueprint Two. About the Blueprint Two. I'm 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 a fan of Blueprint One. I'm a, I'm a fan of the Blueprint One. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know which that was better. Fire, That's better than the Blueprint Two. Better, but. Zen. Blueprint 2 had just came out. Damn, give me, like, you know, because I love 1 too. Don't yeah, do that. Yeah, no doubt. I know. I feel but. you. But I'm just telling you my opinion. <laughs> uh, I feel I'm you. fucking with Blueprint 1. Absolutely. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Ain't no album better. Like, I that shit right there was just amazing. You I know what I'm saying? I have money. You know, I, you know um, me and my brothers, we actually went to the mall. I'll never forget it. My grandmother let us go to the mall by ourselves. I bought Blueprint 2 with my own money. My brother bought Get Rich or Die Trying. And, <laughs> you know, we rocked out. And um, after that, I literally knew the whole shit word for word. The whole fucking album. Like, now, Blueprint 2 was dope. That was a dope yeah, album, right? That was a dope album one? The Curse. Curse. Yeah. Yeah, now, that was a good album. There's a lot of songs on it. That was good. That was a good album. Fire. But it wasn't better than Blueprint 1. You know what I'm saying? You got two. I don't give a fuck what you got. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what you got. That wasn't a better body of work. Okay. You understand what Blueprint One was? I don't understand. I do. You understand I what do. Blueprint One was like? I absolutely. Do. This is what's going on. Like this is when Nas and him was going back and forth. All that. Like this is a whole. Yeah. This is a whole different type of the, the, the Blueprint One was. Do it every day. Reasonable doubt was a start. That was a definitely classic album. You know what I'm saying? Classic. Then I think Ho Definitely. fell off when These he did are, this is shit volume. I still listen to. Volume one was just barely okay to me. You feel me? Then he came back with volume two. That's with um Hard Knock Life on it. That was crazy. Oh, okay. That's the one right. that made right. him go. He went five times platinum off rip with that one. He did. You feel me? So that one right there is the volume one. one two, now volume one was okay. It was all right, but it wasn't. The volume two came out. That was the shit. You know what right. I'm saying? Reservoir Dogs. All that. You feel me? That was the one. You feel me? Wow, you got me what? That's yeah, what you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Money, cash, hoes, all that. Right. You feel me? That's, yeah, that's volume no, two. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And then volume three came out. 
that's um big pimpin you know what i'm saying in the club with beanie you feel me then he came out with dynasty dynasty yeah that's when he brought the rock out everybody yeah. like you know what i'm saying he wanted to and do the hot 97 freestyles the hot 97 free you listen to that mixtape the hot 97 of freestyles yeah, yeah so he put ago. that out you know what i'm saying then ago. that was crazy took and over a whole flexor show right then he went in freeway tried to say why he was so trash during the him and cassidy because he had that freestyle yeah yeah that shit that yeah yeah time. yeah 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 so yeah, Jay Z fanatic, you know that whole shit. Like, like you said, the dynasty, all that had was just coming out yeah. around that. But then time. he came out with that Blueprint Beans One, and is one of like he's on my top five. I Beans, that's my guy. Like Beans is my guy. Like I know Beans for real. Like Beans you had me Beans, in Philly. Shit like that. Um, Beans, I fuck with Beans. All that you know inspired <laughs> me. This is before I you know had the thought to try battle rap i just but this is the, this is just rap you know what i'm saying this is yeah. hip-hop head your father Always. instilled that in you you yes. with him you in the trenches with him you see you seen the action mm -hmm. then you go into the studio you watching him and like that's crazy that's that's amazing mm -hmm. like that's 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 good I'm saying yeah. what do you what, what what these chains about i see you got some bitches what's oh this is um this is my father wait that's him right there yeah that's the okay. picture of my father right here and okay the other one this is just my man's chain this is okay all right all right all right i see this picture this is your father that's dope so you carry him with yeah, you everywhere man. you go everywhere I go. everywhere you go you know what i'm saying inspiration right there yeah you know what i'm saying he's everywhere i go every you know what i'm saying i always shout him out in every battle so Girl, Shy Rag, First Lady BWY, Springfield Mad Shit, Long Live My Dad, Let's Go. Let's go! Okay. When, you, when people look at my battles, they'll see. Yeah, okay. So, how does your um your mother feel about you doing this battle rap thing and all that? Like My mother, she loves it. She loves um, it? She, yeah, she's with the shit. She went on the shit. <laughs> look at my baby! You know, yeah, she's my mom loves it. Loves it. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's dope. That's good. That's good. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, the parents, um, you know, a couple of stories, you know, the parents is like, yo, you should be going to school, college, do this, that, yeah, and the third. You know what I'm saying? You over here rapping. You know, I finished high school, you but know? I just, you know what I'm saying? I, um, my mom is, she's proud of me, you know? My yeah, that's good. That's are good. Not, are not, they were never those kind of parents, like the strict kind. Yeah. You know? So it is support whatever you do. That that's that's they definitely support, like, yeah. that that's definitely they important. You know, that because this this shit is obviously your dream. You know what I'm saying? So right. You know you don't want to get in, in the way of your kids' dream. Like this is what they really want to do, and they t and they stand the stern on it, and they really like yo. I'm on it like this. Like exactly. they don't want you going against that. You know what I'm saying? All you can do is just be like, all right, this is what you want to do. Then you know I'm gonna try to help you every way. I'm gonna give you my opinion and give you my observation and you know, a little direction. But if this is what you want to do, I'm gonna get behind it. And that's exactly. tight. That's you know. No, I'm just happy that I started to take my craft serious when I did just it's all about timing like mm -hmm. you know what might work for somebody else may not work for you like don't always think oh because this person is popping off a song that you could just go make a quick song and that's gonna be that figure out what's for you mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and when definitely I putting shit, you're definitely a wordsmith so you definitely put words together you put thought into your pen mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You sit here and write shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's definitely amazing. Like, for you hating ass bitch ass niggas that think niggas is writing her shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas need to go go suck a dick or something, no, man. No, for real. Fuck around with y'all hating ass niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm, I'm a bar smith. I know what's going on. When I heard her shit, I know she's writing her shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. bottom line. My shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can tell you, she's riding her shit, brother. Like, Absolutely. Kind of fucking frolics and shit thing we got going on here. Word. You know what I'm saying? I'm from this city. You think I'm going to have shit. interview somebody that I know that somebody's writing her shit? I know what the fuck going on. Right. She writing her shit, man, from the bottom. Right. All my shit. You feel shit. what I'm saying? You All the I mean? shit. You feel me? I love this shit, and I found where I belong. This is where the fuck I belong. Like, you know, shout out to DWI. Shout out to... Hit list, shout out to everybody, you know, mm. like everybody in New England battle rap, like the the region really been pushing me. Shout out to the city, like mm. everybody the support is okay, so crazy. Like let's get into the transition from you just being a hip hop head to mm. actually putting out <clears throat> writing writing by the bars and doing all this and getting into that type of scene. Like so before the battle bars, mm -hmm. did you did you drop any music or what's going on? So before the um battle bars and stuff, yep. you know, I would do 
features, like say if my brothers and stuff, they would do songs and mm -hmm. shit. I would do features here and there. Um, I did a song which is on YouTube. Yep. Um, with someone, it's it's actually like I said, I tried the whole like female type of box. Yeah, but it's not. It's, it was know. like a club banger type of song. Yeah, you can really, make club. You, you can, can make really club bangers. Pop, like, yep. 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 Um. So. Once I did that song, I um. So hold on for the people, cause now they're gonna be wondering what song they're gonna be trying to. The and they song flung, yeah. is called Work. The song is called Work. Chirac featuring Day. Look it up. So it's your song. It's me. Yeah. It's featuring my else. song. Yeah, right. it's my song featuring Day. Yep. You know, shout out to her. I love her. That's my favorite. And Dave, she's from like, Springfield too? Yeah, Dave okay. Vina. That's, you know. Oh, okay. Oh, Dave Vina. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. You okay. Know? Okay. So we did that track because, you know, she sings and everything, but she yeah. actually rapped on that track and she did her fucking thing. So. Okay. All right. And this is your first song? This is, yeah, my, I guess you could say, like, my first song. That's on YouTube and all yeah. that. Okay. So do you got any um videos out or anything like that? Or? I don't. No, yeah, okay. I'm trying to right. do a well, video to that song because Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, we're gonna make that happen for her. We're yeah, gonna make I sure feel like that song will really you know, pop. Like, okay, no doubt. We're gonna make that happen, but definitely we're gonna definitely get Shirak some videos popping. You know what I'm saying? This is how you know this video, you know, this interview is is this this is the beginning. Authentic. You feel me? This is the beginning, you feel me? Like, you know. You know, being we got to get behind her right now because she's going up. I'm telling y'all right now. I'm telling y'all right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all right now. So, how many? So this is the only song that you got. So you got featured with your brothers. Are those on the net too, or as, as no, well? I know, but you know, like just in the files and stuff like. That. On the files, okay. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, okay. like I said, I wasn't always too happy with you know yeah, certain yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. All right. No doubt. No doubt. All right, so now let's get into how did you transition from just doing the tracks and the songs, get into battle rap. Like, okay, how, what, was so, the, what was the calling? All right, so I always loved battle rap, like, since Smack was DVD Smack, like, mm -hmm. and was just the cameraman type shit. Me and my brother has been watching battle, like I said, hip hop heads. So we always been in tune with battle rap. The murder mooks, the old shit, like all of that, even like. Not to cut you off though, you know I used to have murder mook outside over I here. I seen that. I used I to have, that. I used to have murder mook. Like I'm talking about before even that. What you, what you see? Tell me what you seen. I've seen you had an interview with him. Yeah, no, you had I had an interview, interview with him. Yeah. And I had him at the cipher at the store. Oh, you know I didn't saying? see the cipher at the store. Yeah. But I seen the interview. Mm hmm. What well, interview did you see? Cause I was, damn, what about what the interview was that? Oh, I'm trying to... it was. <laughs> it was old. It was. Like, oh, you talking about the one you talking about French Montana? No, it was Murder Mook, I said. No, 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 no. He was talking about French Montana. He was like... Oh, yeah, um, possibly. I don't remember him talking about that. Oh, he might have been the one where... Because remember, Murder Mook used to go to Elms College. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I didn't know he went to Elms he College. Went, he went to... Murder Mook used to go to <laughs> I Elms... I didn't know he went nah. to... Shout out to Sh Murder Mook. Shout out to my guy, Murder Mook. I, me, I was in the trenches like, yo, the first time I met Murder Mook, I was at Club Zone. Mm, he was I there. And I thought, oh, it's my nigga off the smack. And ever since he then, went to college we, experience. he went That's to college. Crazy. Nah, he used to be he used to play ball. So you had a he used to ball. You feel me? So he had a he had a scholarship. Wow. He went to Elms doing his thing, bowling and all that. You feel me? Oh. So you know, I had the mixtape store. You know, I'm I'm the nigga with the mixtape. I'm the young nigga with the mixtape right. store. You feel me? So right. you know, I mean, you gotta come close to where you're from. Like you know, what I'm saying, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed right. to think to Harlem. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you come to my block. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? You know, Walnut Walnut and State. You feel me? So you come through mixtape store. We look. You know what I'm saying? We all hip hop heads coming through there. You know what I'm saying? So we linked up a couple of times. I did an interview with him at Elms College. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it was a response to um, my, so my first for my so my first um DVD I had an interview with French Montana. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? This is before French was that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like right. this is a Cocaine City French. Right. So we on the porch on the Bronx you talking. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling French, you know, I fuck with Mook and all this, and he's just like, well, them niggas is this that, and the third. So he's talking about you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I show Murder Mook the footage, and you know what I'm saying? And, and I show French the footage back, and it was just like a whole bunch of shit going on. You feel me? <laughs> so. You know, we did, I did an interview with my nigga Murder Mook at the school at Elms mm -hmm. talking about French Montana. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I showed I showed French Montana that shit. 
You know what I mean? And he's like, oh, what is, what is this, this nigga go to school and do all, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it was crazy though, but it was, it was good times, man. That was, that, that, that was yeah, dope, man. Cool. And Brother Mook, my nigga, he always showed love. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had him out here early. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was coming to the store. Now he's come, 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 come a ciphers back in the day. And mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my guy right there, man. You know what I'm saying? So the smack shit, like, this is like after, this is like right after he dropped the smack shit. Like, this is like, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> hey. A long, yeah, yeah, this is like right after he dropped that YouTube Smack battle. Was even YouTube? Yeah, like, like you know what I'm saying he did Jay Mills battle on Smack, mm -hmm. and then he had the, another one after that. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, back in the day, yeah, shit, we yeah, used to watch all of that shit. We was like, yeah, when you know when Smack was just starting that shit. Anything, so you been had that itch. You been had that battle. You watched that. Friday, that that grabbed you. Tell me, what was the first battle you seen? What's the first battle you seen? Ever? Ever? Like what was the first battle you seen? I was like, you know what? I'm I'm tuned in. I'm like this is this is this is what I it is. I would say it happened had to have been on Freestyle Friday at 106 and Park. Oh, before even the Smack joints. Yep. Oh, okay. If you want to take it there. Oh, okay. You so what? What? I um, remember Poster Boy. Oh, Poster Boy. We oh, won. Yeah. You won all the. You oh, won six yeah. weeks in a row. What was yeah. it? I mean, I mean, I mean, like I'm, four weeks. It's four weeks. On there yeah, four weeks. Shit. Yeah, Poster yep. Boy. Yeah, Poster Boy was. Yep. Feel yep. me? So you watching that? Yep. Just by what I y'all know my age just by that. Like, come on. Damn. Now, so you know, I, did, I ain't gonna lie. I had that itch to me. I did. You don't want to ask a woman her age and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I had that itch. You hear the type of shit? I was around there. That's one of my quest, but I'm you know what? We're not gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? You still got the young luck. We gonna you're gonna say she's young. I remember Reed Dollars and all that. We was on young yeah. hot Reed Dot like we loved rap. Like we just love, you know, yeah. rap and shit. So but you know, before the battle rap shit even became a thing, like I said, I've always been in tune with it and then um I um like I said, I knew I wanted to do rap. I knew I was from Springfield. I know that we're from this small city and that mm -hmm. the odds are really against us. Oh yeah, so, it's still against us, but we gonna change that. You know, that. they still against I'm, us. I'm still here, we gonna I change just that. I'm trying to think of, you know, the perfect way to get in the game, but you know, cause I'm always the type of person that rather be rich than famous, first of all. I don't really care about like being overly famous or being mm -hmm. overly rich. I want to be fucking comfortable and I want to do what I love to do. Yep. And I that's love a gift to of rap. life. Be able to, you know, get paid for something that you have a passion for. Period. That's that that's the gift of life right there. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Be able to just to uh, get up, do what you love to do. It's like a, it's, it's not even like a job cuz you, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know so so basically we're talking about monetizing your passion at the right. end of the day. Her passion is, you know what I'm saying, spitting this shit, right. spitting these bars. And get paid for it. You know what I'm saying? And, and be able to take and be able to take care of her family. It only, it, it only gets better. Yeah, and I respect that. You so know what I'm saying? That's it. I wanted to, you know, find the perfect lane for me, whatever. So I said I wanted to try it. Then I started just watching it, like binge, 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 binge. I'm talking from the trashest niggas to the top tiers. Yeah. You know, I just was watching yeah. it. And I'm like, yo, I want to get in this shit. Like, I want to. Yeah. So, what battle rapper, like, that was one of your favorite battle rappers, basically? Like, which one, what's, what battle rapper inspired you the most? If, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't even put the, I don't even going to put their name out there like that. I don't know. Male. I mean, I'm just talking about battle rappers, um, period. Female, I love, man, I mean. Like, for the females, like, I love E Heart. I love Miss Hustle. Mm hmm. Um, I love 40 bars, even though I'm about to battle her um, mm. next month. Um, who else for the females? Um, that's really it for the females. I fuck with Tay Rock for the um, guys. Yep. yep. Um, who else? Um, surf, twerk. Mm hmm No, I don't want to say my man. and you know, I fuck with him, period. But, mm -hmm. you know. Shout out to Determination Over Trust. Um, I don't know. Everybody. Stum ready. Right. Stumbles. Mm -hmm. Cassidy. Shout out to Stumbles like 413. Cassidy just period. So, you know, I like him as a battle rapper too. I just like his confidence and shit. But I like everybody. Like, I like a lot of. I don't know. I like everybody for different reasons. And no, shit. Doubt, so no, I don't doubt. really have like a favorite or nothing like that. But I like. You know, people for what I like them for. Okay, so let's get into um. He's a black captain. Okay. I'll tell him to like him too. So, so let's get into like now. 
we got your inspirations as far as like hip hop, inspiration as far as battle rap. So let's get into how you actually got your way into battle rap. Like, what what was the first move that like made you leap that that, 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 to... that that led you to your first battle? Okay, so what happened was this: I had finally finalized it in my head that I was gonna do try battle rap. Mm-hmm. And um, what led you to the decision? What led you to that, to that decision? After just watching so many battles and just like, what made you choose to do battle rap instead of you know I'm gonna make a bunch of dope songs or do an album? Really what 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 made you say like I'm gonna do battle rap first? Fuck an album, fuck doing songs. I'm doing battle rap. What made you choose battle rap over doing music? Actually, um, I told you like I didn't really like how I sounded in the studio. Mm. I wanted. You know, it to be everybody has to listen to me. Yeah. All eyes on me. Listen to what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay. And you know what I'm saying? That mm-hmm. type of thing. And, you know, with battle rap, like, once you get the reactions and everybody rocking with you, like, the feeling. The feeling's is, okay. The feeling is unmatched. Like, okay, okay. That makes sense. All right. And so. Once I finally said I'm, you know, I confirmed it in my head that yeah, I'm gonna try this shit. Yep. Um, what did I do? How did I? Oh, I. It just so happened somebody on Facebook had posted. Shout out to Justin from Chaos Battle League in the Bronx. Mm-hmm. If you end up seeing this, he said that he was looking for a female, looking mm-hmm. to make her debut. He Ooh, said, okay, he, all right. He said he was looking for preferably a female that's looking to make their debut. Okay. Chaos Battle League in the Bronx. Boom. So I basically inquired about it and um I went all the way out there. I brought me, my brothers, everybody. We mm-hmm. went out there, I wrote my shit, my three rounds, they gave me my op. The bitch then ended up showing up. Oh shit. <laughs> I drove all the way to the Bronx. Mm-hmm. So I was pissed off. Like when that happened, I was like, if "That could happen. Fuck this. I, like, I'm good. Like, you know." So after that, I was good. I like, I thought about saying, "Fuck it," but then so you got flushed right after your first battle. Like first battle. That didn't go. That obviously didn't go down. So it didn't go down. I was. And you were frustrated. Off. You was pissed off. Yeah, like drove away with my family. Out there wasn't obviously getting paid yet. Um, yeah. So I was pissed off. You feel me? So we went out there. Then I end up hitting my homeboy up that I knew battle rapped from out here. His name is JDY. Shout out to JDY. Mm-hmm. He battle raps. Mm-hmm. Um, I hit him up and was like, yo, I told him what happened. Like, you know, the I backed out, da 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 da, whatever. And he was like, yo, I think I could get you um, a battle. Mm-hmm. So I was like, all right, bet. He hits up this league called King of the Five. They're in Brockton. Shout out to King of the Five. Shout out to Wise Uzumaki, the whole King of the Five family. Okay. Because this is where I made my debut battle. Mm-hmm. And um, so basically, JDY told him that he had a female who was looking to make a debut. And they was like, all right, you know, is she trash? Whatever, whatever. He said yep. no. Mm-hmm. And he was like, I never even heard you rap, but I just feel like you aren't trash. So <laughs> <laughs> He just had faith in you. Yeah, he had faith in he me. Yeah, the shit. faith. Okay. So okay. told him I wasn't trash. And boom, they booked the battle, told me who I had. It was this white boy. His name is Don Lazan. Mm-hmm. Shout out to him. If he ends up watching this, because he was my first battle like ever. And he wasn't that bad. You know, I did destroy him, but he was not. <laughs> destroyed he was... him. Okay. <laughs> he wasn't Talk bad. Talking shit. Talking shit. You destroyed him. He That's wasn't bad. Good. He was not bad. He was not trash or nothing. He just, they wasn't feeling his material. Mm-hmm. You know, I just, they was fucking with me and shit. Better like, shit ain't easy, man. You get in front of that stage. It's a, it's it's a whole, it's a whole thing. Cadence, it's bars, not. not fucking up. Mm-hmm. You know, schemes, all type of shit, man. Like, yeah, I know how to yeah, send your punch at the right time. Like, right. this is you know. this is a, this is not just talking and you know what I'm saying you got to sound confident when you talk to. Like, it's just right. it's a whole, it's a whole, it's totally whole different. thing. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Okay. It's a lot. So that was your first battle. They that seen my that first battle. So that's is that on YouTube now? It's on YouTube oh, right now. You okay. as good as that, pussy. 
Hold on, let me read his eulogy. Okay. Rest in peace to Don Lazan. Uh -huh. He watched Eight Mile one time, now he think he could rhyme. Pause it. Hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. Hold it down. Cause of death was thinking he could fuck with a real bitch, but he don't want no jazz up in here. He on some Uncle Phil oh shit. And what year is this? This is last year. Oh, so oh, damn. So basically, you just you just started, right? Um, this is 2021. Hold on, September. I think it's 18th. Will be my one year anniversary. So, oh, so about to be one year coming about up to now. Be one year this month. Oh, at least they're early in the we motherfucking still game. Early in the game. Damn. Very, very early. You moving up fast though. Yeah. You, you know, moving up fast. Moving up real fast. It's been a hell of a fucking year. Like it's been a great year. So. So that was the one that set it off. Yeah. That, was that the shit one came that on camera. Off. People seen it. And they seen it. And they was like, you oh know, wow, that's the, like the New England battle rap scene. You know, they took, they gravitated to me yeah. immediately. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They liked me. It was a breath of fresh air. It was new. It yep. was a female. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's not too many females in the region. In New England battle rap, there's not that many. Females. Yeah, there's not that many. Yeah. Right. So. Doing all the high level at that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, obviously, they had me. I, I had to smoke every female there is. And then <laughs> And you know, because we don't have so basically what you're saying, without saying is that you never lost a battle yet. No, not <laughs> haven't lost a battle yet. Nope, nope, not no. even close. Nothing. So, no, my first battle, like I said, was with the boy. It wasn't, you know, yeah, I it was a 30, but I gave him two, two, one because you could see, like, in the um interview when they asked me, I said two, one. Because because you met I seen that because you said that you messed um, up a little bit yeah. yeah okay yeah you said you messed up a little bit but yeah. it was a thirty mean and three o for y'all to understand what's going on because everybody's been watching the interview so oh, right. thirty means three o yes okay that means you won three rounds that's battle rap ebonics zero. so three o thirty but um mm -hmm. so yeah so after that I get a phone call from Block City in Connecticut yep. shout out to them they asked this is your second battle my second battle now yep. You know, my first time getting a little. And this is and this is payment now. The full but, year is not even up yet. We're still here, and this is not even the full year. Is she still right. okay? So second battle came up. So second battle came up, Connecticut. I get the phone call from Block City. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously I do my research, and I'm like, okay, who's this league? Yep. They got mad. Their subscribers is up. Everybody like, like, yo, Sue Surf came from here. This person came from here. That person came from there. So I'm like, all right, this is a good league. Like, let's go. So you know, I guess they had their. They were like in like a reconstruction um phase. Mm -hmm. You know, so they didn't have like the following that they had previously had, but they, yeah. you know, they yeah. still was popping. So, when did that smoke that bitch? I know you're tired. I know you're tight. I'm supposed to be scared because you chose to be a dyke. I, I know a fiend no for hitting no bitches. We call him Ike. Give him a Tina, he'll turn that into a shadow for life. Um, that was a one round battle. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I went and. What was her name? Her name was Shadow Stacks. Okay. Um, yeah, some dyke chick. Um, I forgot where she was from, but she ended up stopping battle rapping all around after that or whatever. Not oh. saying I was the reason or not. Well, I'm gonna say you was the reason. I'm so I, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So what are you telling me? Let's get let's get the facts straight. So what are you telling me? After she battled you, there was no more battle raps. There was no more after that. No more. There was no more? No. You never seen it? No. no. Alright, so I'm giving it to you 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 shut her career down. Okay. No disrespect to you, because maybe you have some family stuff going on, some life stuff. Hey, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, you battled Chirac. You was the op, and the op got put down, and the op never came back. Absolutely. So <laughs> we have to give it to Chirac. Yeah. She ended your career. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. So, um, so, yeah. So they took, you know, they gravitated to me a lot after that, like the New England battle rap scene. Yep. I ended up um, 
finding out that I was the whole time being watched by a battle rap group called DWI. Mm-hmm. So DWI is a battle rap group. Um, for people who like, who isn't like familiar with like battle rap and shit, like battle rap be having like groups and shit like that. Like you have yep. your your group of battle rappers basically. Mm-hmm. So they was there. They watched my battle. They um, actually, you know what? I'm fucking lying. They was at the first battle. The first one up. with the other. Yeah, they okay. was at the first battle, and they had hit me up. And asked me to become the first lady. First lady of what? Of DWI. DWI. What does that stand for again? Um, disrespectful wave ignorance. Okay. So basically, we're all. So after one battle, first lady. What's it two? One. Yep. After one battle. It was first like she's lady. the first lady off Listen. rip. It was like she's spitting. I only seen one battle. That's all I need to see. She's first lady. Yep. Damn. So. Yeah, they, you know, they all got together. They wanted me to become first lady. They talked about it. They, you know, I talked about it with them and shit. And I was just like, yep, I'll be, you know, they, one of the best battle rap groups in New England battle rap, period. Like, they got some hitters on there, all of that. And I just felt like it was a good move for me. What that did for me was get New England Battle Rap familiar with who the fuck I am. And it's like they gravitated to me like instantly. So I started to get, you know, support, gain following, all of that. Like, not saying all because of them, because of me, obviously, but, you know, we, it complimented. Like, we complimented mm-hmm. each other and shit. So I'm the first lady of DWI now. I'm battling Shadow Stacks, Smoke Her. Mm-hmm. Now I get a phone call from We We Goes Hard. I mean, She Goes Hard. They're a big platform for female battle rap. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, you know, there's Queen of the Ring. Yep. And then there's She Goes Hard, really. Yep. You know, they're up there. Mm-hmm. So I was happy to get that um, battle, that look or whatever. Who's your battle on She Goes Hard? Um, her name was Wild Apache, some mm-hmm. chick or whatever from Brooklyn. Shout out to her. You know, whatever. We had the battle. It was a one round battle in Brooklyn. Um, this was after two battles of mine. Mm. You know, Did I watch that one. Is the one she was messing up? Yeah, the bitches always end up messing up if you think about it, except for C three. But she messed up. It's mm. that one. Okay? Yeah. So, after that battle with her, now the whole New York battle rap scene started to open up to who I am now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That battle did a lot for me. You know, that whole She Goes Hard and all of them, like, that was, like, a good look for me. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I was happy about it. I ended up winning the battle. Um, Once again, like... It helped my career. Yep. Bitch, I'm cold. You better dress warm. Think set it off. I'll get AP lined up for nothing. And you ain't even from Acorn. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm from Acorn. I'm from the bottom, bitch. Just know what's up. This ain't your day. Think PUA. Everybody get a buck. I spin the block and I'm putting holes in everybody. Because when two ratchets hit the block, man, them holes for everybody. <laughs> Um, so now it's like everybody's starting to catch wind on who I am, whatever, whatever. It's just starting to go up and up. So now I'm starting to get, you know, compensated for my fucking work, getting paid and good, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Good so pay when, So how many battles before you start getting paid? Well, I had got paid the second one, but... Okay, it, all right, but you, know, you, you but got paid. Wasn't. Anything right. positive income. We don't care right. what you're talking about, but you just getting paid. Right. Okay. Second battle. People don't get paid bottom line all the time. You know what I'm saying? So you got to pay your don't. second battle. Right. So you, you know, was already... So, okay. You know what I'm saying? And so then... Um, got to put respect on that. Right. Mm-hmm. So after that, they, they're they having this big ass event in New England battle rap called Chow Time. Mm-hmm. Um. Battle rapper, his name is Chilla Jones. Mm-hmm. He's a big battle rapper, but he's from New England. 
Another battle rapper was a female. Her name is Couture. Shout yep. out to Couture. Yep. She's fire. Both of them are fire. They're both from New England, though. So they mm-hmm. wanted to do an event. With Couture, she's from Rhode Island? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. So they both they wanted to do an event to, you know, give New England battle rap a chance to, you know. Yo, show their stuff. Right. You know get recognition. So, exactly. So they each picked a team. It was Team Chilla versus Team Couture. And what team were you on? I was on Team Chilla. Okay. They drafted. It was literally like I think like fifty of us literally that wanted, you know, they picked twenty two out of fifty, I believe it was. Mm-hmm. So twenty two out of fifty. It was a whole live they did. They, you know, said our names or whatever once we got chosen and it was just cool. Like it was dope. So it was fire boom. I get chosen for, for child time. So that 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 live that, that, that draft is online? Right. It's online now? Yeah. Okay, we, we, we need that footage. We get yeah. It. All right. Yep. So once they call out the people that they wanted and who they chose, everybody's happy who got chosen. Boom, the event pops off. I went by the other night. I said, so this what y'all wanted, right? Yeah. So the dyke bitch sent for me. They said, shorty got a pen, so go in with no sympathy. But all jokes aside, Breeze, you really got a pen to me. But you stood in front of Shadow Stacks. This is Rack. I'm a different G. Come Bitch, on, I'm not the one. The two or the fucking three. And shit gonna get cold when I put Breeze on the fucking T. You killed Shadow, so did I. Had a debatable with Yoda God. Then niggas was calling 2 one needs a way but OG Prana. Just for you, letting them battles be in the air. Breeze out oh, air, Breeze. Twist your locks. Now you can't leave. I have you curled up in your head dripping. Carefree, deuce, deuce. A thousand dollars. You battled everybody? Like, no, uh, I uh, battled. You battled one person. Oh, body the night. So your your battle was the most prolific battle that right. you bodied the person the most. Right. Oh. It was a judged battle. This time we oh, had, okay. yeah, we had judges and shit. Mm-hmm. So everybody battled. Everybody, you know, I ended up winning body of the night. Mm-hmm. Won that thousand dollars, so I'm souped. Like this is the beginning of my career. I think I'm like six months in at this time. How many battles you had by this time? I believe three. Mm, okay. Yeah. So that happened. I'm amped. It's making me want to keep going more and more and more. Like, and um, after child time, um, I'm trying to think of what happened next. Oh. Wait, um, oh, I the same person that I battled in one body of the night, we teamed up and did a two we did a two one two. Oh, okay. And one. So mm. you know what I'm saying? That was just crazy. That's online too, two on two. That's online. online too, the two on two. Mm-hmm. Um Chirac and Breezy, shout out to her. Um versus GK and True. Okay. So, yeah. So it was like a two on two thing. Um, we smoked them niggas real quick. Like it was just it, this year has just been crazy. It's just been like Damn. amazing. Like mm. yeah, she went real fast in one year, and the year's not even up. The eighteen is damn. That's crazy. Yeah, mm-hmm. the year's not even up. So after all of this, I end up fucking around and getting a battle with C three, a top tier. Shout out yep. to C three. Now this battle right here is the one that really. I ain't gonna lie, that's the first one I that's the first one I seen when I was in. I'm like, what exactly. is this about? You know what I'm saying? That's the one. I'm watching you the the K I M shit. Yeah. And all that. I'm like, oh shit. I was like, hold this, hold on. I was like, this is hold on. This ain't Cheyenne that I know from the field. This ain't this is I'm like, what the fuck is this? I'm watching this, I'm like, nah, this can't be her. I'm not this is I'm like, telling you. Like you the whole different person and shit. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? I said these bullets had to fly in three and emergency. I call my shooters up, they gonna respond with urgency. I'll leave you swimming with the fish somewhere submerged in sea. That C three battle. That C three, you went crazy in that one, man. That, Thank you. That E R line and C R C R and C E R all this extra. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I said, I said damn. I- you said now that I tune in the rest of the battles I was like, damn. Then I see you battle some see dude. Three for real. You battle some dude. Doing that with me, and like he was like turning around. Like, you need to turn you touched him. Like, turn around, look at me. What the fuck is a Shanito, nigga? <laughs> turn around, pussy. Oh. 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 
like, Shanita I'm like, damn, he, so you go over here grabbing that this That was one? a battle that I I'm was, like, yo, what's up? I'm like, yo, That happened on. in Springfield. That happened in Springfield, but I'm saying, you look grabbing niggas up and all that. Like, yo, hold on. Look at me in the fucking talk. I'm like, grab the nigga and all this. I'm like, whoa. Oh, pissed me off. I understand, but you, like, you touching that. I'm like, yo. Face, and then when it come time to mind, you want to turn yeah, around. Right, right, I don't know if you get respect. Like, this is regular, but Shire, I can't play that shit. You're going to listen to me. Grab the nigga. You feel me? And turn the nigga around. I'm like, oh. Shout out to Shani. I was that's like, my, that's my whole she, she ain't fucking around. She's the real motherfucking deal. Yeah. I'm over here my popcorn. I'm like, oh shit, this you is going go, on. All my battles mm. are on YouTube. Like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Man, throughout yeah. this whole interview, they're going to be showing all right. of them. Right. You know I want saying? everybody to go tune in to all, you know of, all of them. Um, Yeah, so that was the Shanito battle. Yeah. Um, Sorry, you got burnt that one, my G. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be disrespectful or nothing. So, but yo, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, C3. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for Debo and Queen of the Ring to stop fucking playing with me. Remy Ma and Chrome 23 to just stop playing oh, with me. Oh, okay. Like, I'm just waiting for them. To oh, just we got to get you the Chrome 23. I'm yeah, gonna make, we got it. Matter of fact, we got to get you the Chrome 23. Let's go, Rem. We got to get you the Chrome 23. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's it. Like, I'm going to get you the Chrome 23. Matter of fact, let me tell you right now. Let me put this in fruition right now. So, like I said, my nigga, shout out to my nigga Fabian. He fuck with Math Hoffa, hard body. Mm -hmm. Math Hoffa fuck with Remy Ma. I fuck with Remy Ma a little bit because I did the, the shit with her. Yeah, but that was before she went to jail and all that. You know what I'm saying? We yeah, just like, when I see her, say what's up. It's nothing like, mm -hmm. she's my buddy or nothing. All right. But, right now, we're going to put this in the, in the universe. You feel me? I'm going to my nigga Fabian. I'm going to tell him, how that Math, yo. I got, we got, we got Chirac in the building. Send math a couple of them joints battles and saying and then we get that and then have like i'm just waiting for the and fight. then have math once my nigga math go back and send the links over to get her on there that's another cosign you're gonna have to get on there that's what I we need, gotta fucking do you I know what i'm saying chrome 23 look I yeah we gotta get that we gotta get that i need that right shout out to them too shout out to yeah you know what i'm saying shout out to we was on we was on his um on Shout his out podcast, to Debo, Babs, all yeah. of them. Like, we gotta get on. We gonna get on. Yeah, like she know what time it is. Yeah, we gotta get. We gonna get you on there. Oh, I need that, to bless that stage. Now nah, we got. You gonna, gonna bless that stage because you know I mean? a lot of bitches it ain't fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? That's just, I, not oh. because you're from the four one three or uh, none of that. that. This is real talk. This is Especially real life shit. That don't you know what I'm saying? Like, like shit. Like, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Like you gotta respect it. Like save you know room what I'm for the bitches that really do, please. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You gotta respect it. Get off there. Get off. I mean, she she doing her thing. Bars is impeccable. She's tearing niggas' heads off. Fuck the bitches. Niggas, She's tearing bitches. niggas' heads off. Off rip. Me, all of that. You know what I'm saying? I so. got 40 bars next month. Like, mm -hmm. that's a whole big deal. Shout out to 40 bars. Shout out to Chilla Jones. That's his event. Deep Waters. Mm -hmm. Um, If you trying to pull up to that, get your tickets. All of that. Tickets I'm getting a VIP ticket fast. from Chalk as well. I got to go to that. You feel me? I got to go. I got to go. I got to go to that, man. That's you don't want to miss yeah. that. It's going to be a fucking movie. Not even just me and 40 bars um, battle. The whole card is crazy. Like, it's crazy. Mm. So, it's about to be crazy. So, yeah. Like I said, shit is shit has just been looking up. This year has just been great. I just, I hope it continues to be that way. No, definitely continue to be that way, you know. I mean, you know. it's just going to keep going up and up. Yeah, we definitely got to make it happen like that, man. You know what I mean? That's definitely going to go down. So, now we got the battle rap going. Now it's time to get Shy Rack on her music shit. Let people know your, your plans for the music. You know what I'm saying? Because as you're doing this, yeah. we don't want to box oh. Cheyenne as right. a straight Put me battle in the rapper. Box and she's, just that I'm just a, she's multi talented. I'm just a rapper, period. I'm yep. a fucking rapper. Um, yeah, music videos coming soon. More mm -hmm. freestyle videos coming soon. Definitely. More, definitely more battles coming soon. Yeah, yeah you know that. Know. You know that. Yeah. I still got more, you know, bitches to kill, more niggas to kill. All of that. It's, this is my <laughs> first year, like. Yeah, and it's been amazing. Great, it's been amazing. Mm -hmm. I I can't complain at all. So, I just want to keep doing what I do and just keep you know going up on the platform and the viewing. And I want y'all to rock with me. Go, go look at them battles because there's gonna be more to come. Like you know, I'm here to stay. So get used to me. Rock with me. Feel me. I'm gonna keep coming with them bars for y'all. It is what it is, man. You know, it's your boy Frankie. You know, making moves TV. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.
And definitely check out my homegirl Chirac. She's doing her thing right now. Representing the 413 Hall of Fame City. Uh -huh. Birthplace of motherfucking basketball. Yeah, I didn't know. 413 you know what I'm saying? Shit. Got I'm niggas talk that ball and shit. We have been in balling. So... You understand what I'm saying? This man right Y'all talk about that balling shit. We invented balling. We yeah, shot bro. the first basketball inside the basket, like, inside right? the net. This is where it happened at. Stop and this is where this bar spitter crazy. is from. Mm -hmm. Get your fucking mind right, man. We out here forcing the wind. This big fucking water get down to drown. You know what I'm saying? Period. All of that. Shy you know what it is. Shit. Third lane to the airplane shit. Queen of this Fuck wrong England with y'all. Let's go. 100. Let's go. Yeah, we gotta get down to the switches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's 